So this is the British Museum and the Great Court at the British Museum is a new public space created within the existing courtyard. And it was designed by Foster and Partners and completed in the year 2000. So we're now standing inside the Great Court at the British Museum and this uh, allows us a great opportunity to have a look at this incredible ceiling. And the ceiling is, as you can see, it's made up of these triangular panels. There's actually over 3,000 individually shaped panels, um, each kind of cut to fit this undulating shape. And another thing you might notice is that there isn't as much sun in here as you could Im might imagine based on how sunny it was outside. And that's because each piece of glass has been fritted. Um, and this means it's been covered with little opaque dots to block out solar gain, prevent overheating and create a pleasant daylit space. Yeah, so at the moment it's probably about 20, I guess, in here, something like that, 20 centigrade. Really nice atmosphere, really nice environment. It's possible to keep this environment really nice all year round. So it's, it's got trench heaters all the way around the outside, uh, which provide heating when it's too cold. There's a bit of an air gap at the top of this roof to let air out if it gets too hot. Overall, a sunny day, you'd expect it to overheat if it wasn't uh, fritted as well as it is. The actual design of the glazing is interesting, it's asymmetrical, so this round reading room is not in the middle of the space, uh, which means that each of the curves of this roof are different, so the uh, parametric design has led, has led to, the, uh, to the shape you see, which looks pretty beautiful, uh, but each pane of glass is a different size, so it's expensive. So you've got to think about the, the value to the British Museum uh, and the cost to the client, effectively, of making these things. So it's, it's, a, it's a payoff.